Hey, welcome back everybody and uh, welcome to the new time change. You're like, huh? What are you talking about? And it's like, oh yeah, remember last night, put set the clocks back an hour so you got an extra hour of sleep. So if you're just watching this and your alarm went off and you didn't set your clocks back, it's saying it's 12 o'clock and you're like, why is this coming out at 12 o'clock? It's 11 o'clock, that's why. Hello. So, good morning everybody. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Yesterday was Halloween. Hope everybody had a great Halloween. And then we got to set the clocks back last night. But I think the real Halloween comes into town on Tuesday now, doesn't it? Wait, that's the circus and the big top. So we all get to wait and see who comes out ahead on that one. So today's video is going to be on being prepared. You're running out of some serious time here, folks. You've got to get the ball rolling if you haven't already done so. So what do you mean by, ah, I got to get the ball rolling? Well, you got to get out there. You got to make sure that you're prepared. Okay. We have so much stuff that's going on. You got one day left before the circus rolls into town or Halloween, however you want to really look at it. Don't know which one's more scarier. I wouldn't be taking my kids to it. That's for sure. But you got one day. All right. Now, I had did notice, we went to the store this weekend, hit Walmart, did my final prepping and stuff before all this stuff uh, goes down and the shit hits the fan. So, did notice that there's a lot of people that are really stocking up. You know what the one thing is you can't buy now? Come on, people, guess. What is it? The one thing you can't buy now, at least in my Walmart, spam. And you all thought I was going to say toilet paper, didn't you? No, that was in the first round when uh, Charlie Victor 19 came through, and now it is spam. There wasn't one can of spam on the shelf. I don't care which brand you're looking for, it's gone. Now, I am a delivery driver. I've been delivering all kinds of stuff. People are stocking up. I'm delivering cases of paper towels, toilet papers, uh, diapers coming out to Wazoo, um, Amazon Prime, food, and everything else. Um, you name it, I'm delivering it. People are ordering it. If they can't get it in the stores, they're buying it online. All right. Now, I did have a chance to talk with a Walmart uh, employee that was the head of shipping and receiving. And they are starting to plan for their Christmas, which everybody probably knows. If you've been in the store, you see all the Christmas stuff is, you know, up and everything else. You know, they put it up in like July now or whenever. But anyways, um, she was telling me that they're having a huge problem keeping food on the shelves. They've hired hired more crews to work overnight during the day. It's a nonstop 24 hour deal. Now this isn't in my area. This is in central Florida. Okay. And, um, out by the mouse house. And in case everybody doesn't know what the mouse house is, the mouse house is Walt Disney world. But she was telling me that, you know, everybody is really going to be prepared this time. They're not going to be caught with their pants down like they were last time because they can't keep nothing in the stores, you know? So, you know, when we were in the store, we saw people pulling out of there with two and three carts full of food. It was just amazing, you know? And we all remember what it was really like not too long ago when Charlie Victor 19 came knocking on the door. Don't we all remember that? Well, if you didn't get to witness it and you didn't get to see it in person, or maybe you missed it on the TV, I'm going to show you a video clip right now of what it looked like in my local Walmart. Lord have mercy. Soup aisle. I think it's uh, Armageddon or something. So as you can see, it looked like Armageddon had come to town. A mouse couldn't even find something to eat in that place. It was stripped clean. I mean, the shelves were just bare. It was just, it was a weird thing. A weird thing to see. It's not something that we're accustomed to seeing here in the United States of America. Now, are we? 
you're used to be able to walk into a store. If you're looking for something, well, you buy it. But that's not what happened. You walked into the store and it wasn't there. And it wasn't there for quite a while. So you had what you had at home, unless you found someplace else where you could buy some types of products and you scarfed them up before somebody else figured out what you were doing. You know, your small convenience stores and everything else and you're paying top dollar in there. You know, a can of green beans at Walmart costs 50 cents. You know, you go into a 7-Eleven and it's probably two bucks. I don't know how much it is. I'm just saying it's way up there. All right, they're not gonna charge you 50 cents a can. They're gonna make money on that stuff. It's a convenience. You're not going to the store. Remember that. So hopefully through watching some of my videos and stuff, you people have got a pretty good idea of what you need to do, how to do it, and how to be prepared for you and your family. That is the whole game. That's our game plan, people. Our game plan is to be prepared as preppers your game plan should be for you to be prepared for you and your family. That also may include maybe some extended family that maybe don't be ready or don't believe in being ready because they believe that possible everything will be okay and, you know, they don't have to worry about it. You know, there'll be plenty of food, which in which case... In the video clip that I showed you before, we all know how that went just a few months ago. So we have all kinds of stuff that is going on, all right? We've got the circus coming to town on Tuesday, or Halloween, whichever one you want to look at, it, you know? Um, you got Charlie Victor 19. Now, I don't know about your state or your country where you may be living, but here in the lovely state of Florida, we have rounded the curve. And boy, are we rounding it. Whew. That way. Yep, up. It's not going down, <laughs> it's going up. But nobody really seems to talk about that too much. You know, now, right now it's all political. Now, you know, normally on my Sunday mornings, I do your weekly news and review. I started doing that. And lately there's just been too much other stuff that's been going on that I wanted to make sure that everybody was made aware of because Lord only knows you are getting enough of the political BS on the TV, on the radio, um, on anything. You watch uh, YouTube videos, you see all the political ads. You watch anything and you see a political ad. Put on your fire TV, you watch a political ad, whatever it is. You know, then you go check your mailbox and guess what else you get? More political ads. So it's a little bit getting ridiculous, if you ask me. Now they're spending so much money on the political side of this, on both parties, on pushing all this crap down our throats, you know, between the mail and the radio ads, the TV ads and everything else, you know, it's just pathetic. The one main thing that you can make sure that you're prepared for is, depending on how this whole circus plays out on Tuesday, which I don't think we're going to know the answer to that until probably Wednesday or Thursday if we're lucky, being that there's been so many people that have already decided to vote, which is a good thing. And if you haven't voted, you need to get out and vote. Every vote counts. And don't let people pressure you to vote one way or the other. However you want to vote, it's your God-given right for living in this country. You go vote. Period. Also, you need to be make sure that you're being prepared because I tell you what, folks. If you don't see the writing on the wall that Charlie Victor 19 is coming back and it's going to bite us in the ass pretty hard. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It's been spelled out for you. You don't have to be a rocket science to figure this stuff out, folks. Just watch all the numbers that are reported, you know, in all the different states. You can go online. You can find out anything. You can find out anything you want to know, you know. And I live in the lovely state of Florida, and we keep going up. We're now, it's like anywhere between 4,000 and over 5,000 a day. We're not going the opposite direction. And just yesterday on Halloween, you know, they opened up most of downtown Orlando 
and they made it to where people could drink in the streets because this way it was easier for them to social distance. Now, think about this. Follow me here. In case anybody else, a little light bulb didn't go right on. So we're going to let all these people go downtown for Halloween. Only for Halloween. Just Halloween night. And they can social distance while they're drinking in the streets. Now, one would think to drink something, don't you have to take the mask off? Just a question. Unless maybe you cut a small little hole and you're drinking through a straw, in which case you're going to get shit-faced really fast. So, I don't know how that's all going to play out. We shall see, I guess. Um, that seems to be the whole name of the game during this whole Charlie Victor 19. Uh, it name seems to be the name of the game through the whole political stuff, too, if you ask me. Uh, it's a wait and see who's going to win. Um... And it's a wait and see who's going to catch the Charlie Victor 19. And let's just pray to God that they don't die. Now, hopefully, everybody has learned something over the whole Charlie Victor 19. And hopefully, nobody out there has had anybody that has passed away. And if they did, my condolences go to you and your family because that had to be something very difficult to do. Um, being that you weren't able to be by anybody's side which I think is a very tragedy and um, plays a total mental game on a lot of people. Uh, that is a very hard thing I can't even imagine to have to go through. Now, as far as being a prepper, you have to remember the whole reason that you prep is to be ready. Now, we don't know what's going to go on, if there's going to be civil unrest. We don't know if there's going to be looting. We don't know if there's going to be, you know, they're going to be burning things down after this, you know, circus comes to town on Tuesday. We don't know what's going to happen. We do know that the police and they have mobilized some military and stuff to, I guess, some more, quote, high risk areas and to try to help um, keep things in check, if you want to say. Now, regardless of which way you want to look at the police and everything else, um, careful what you wish for because the military handles things a lot of differently, okay? The military isn't really made to police. The military is made, let's just basically just say, you know, the military is there to control and conquer, however they have to do it. So if they get unleashed and they're let ram three, you're going to wish the police were there. Because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, look back in history. You know, there's been several incidents in history. So I'm not just making this up. It's happened before. It could happen again. A few bad apples in the bunch. Doesn't make them all bad. Get rid of the bad apples. Let the rest of them do their job. That's all I'm going to say about that. So... Back to what I was talking about. In closing, you have one full day left before the circus hits the town. You have one full day to make sure that you're prepared. Hopefully, you know, the store shelves aren't too empty. I mean, a lot of the major stores are doing a really good job of trying to keep up with the demand. The demand is very high. Just about a lot of people that I do know are prepared. They've been putting up a little bit of food here, a little bit of food there, extra supplies, making sure they got their medicines, making sure they got extra diapers, extra dog food, and the whole nine yards. Everything that I've talked about in my videos. And if you have any questions, go back through some of my videos. You've got 164 videos, I believe it is, somewhere in that area that you can choose from. I broke it down into easy to watch playlists for you, for your convenience, to make things so that they're not so complicated, so that you can go in and you can see how to do certain things. How to do your rice, how to, how to pack flour, how to store stuff long-term, what kind of canned goods should I be buying, the whole nine yards, first aid, you know, what kind of things you need, all right? The information is all out there but you are the one that has to make 
and take the incentive to make sure that you're prepared. It all comes down to you, folks. I can sit up here and preach all day long, just like every other YouTube channel, okay? But in the end of the day, it is all up to you. We can't do it for you. We try to help you out as much as we can. And I try to do as much as I can. I try to make sure that I answer a lot of comments and everything else. Um, sometimes it's a little difficult for me during the week because of my work schedule, but I still try and answer any of your comments or questions to the best of my knowledge. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Don't forget to get out and vote when the circus comes to town because your vote does count. And like I said before, don't let anybody intimidate you to vote one way or the other. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. It matters what you think. Because that's why you live in the United States of America. You have freedom of choice. So, until next Sunday, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I will catch you all on the flip side. Stay safe and get out and vote. Be prepared. Expect the unexpected. Catch you.